the sun is not as stable as people believe. It's not this Aristotelian perfect thing in the sky. And I believe that a massive solar event, a solar outburst, um, is what ended the last ice age, and as I'll come to, also began the younger Dryas. So the sun, what's the primary elements in the sun? Helium, but even more so hydrogen, right? Hydrogen at high temperatures, etc., it can be dissociated. You know, hydrogen's proton with electron around it, it can be dissociated just into the positive proton, just the negative electron. They can be ejected off, move at fast speeds. You've got the solar wind, etc. A general name for that is plasma. So when I'm talking plasma, that's what I'm talking about, not blood plasma. It's actually named after blood plasma because it sort of acts like it's um, plasma physicists will tell you, it acts like it's alive. But that's what I'm talking about, plasma. Think of primarily protons, electrons moving at intense speeds, sometimes subluminal, very close, you know, good percentage of the speed of light. You can have major plasma outbursts from the sun. We call them things like coronal mass ejections or micronovas when it throws out material in all directions. You can have major solar flares. You can have uh, what are known as proton events or uh, SPE, solar proton or solar particle events. Um, and these things happen. We know they happen. There was a major one in 1859 known as the Carrington event. So you can think of pretty sort of plasma and um, the solar wind coming in, it hits the atmosphere and forms things like the auroras, the aurora borealis, aurora astralis. Did anyone see that we had some so severe solar activity recently? I say severe from a human perspective, nothing from an astrophysical perspective, you know, what the sun really could do.